So let's get to some of the fun stuff here now. Let's review our customer case that we're going to be using in our demo. As John had mentioned earlier, churn is one of the areas that is being used heavily with customer loyalty. So I want you to imagine a large media conglomerate that is concerned about some of its customers might be leaving for online media content. They're called, they're called um, cord cutters. Most of them are millennials, and uh, they, uh, they're just not a fan of being tied to any type of a subscription-based or a, a yearly contract. So your company wants to identify uh, you know, who, who are the people who are leaving and what are the factors that are causing um, this, this churn to occur. So you work for this company and you want to, to find out what could be some of the things that you know about them and then be able to identify, did that lead them to leave or did that, was that something that led them to, uh, to stay? So we have about a data set of 7,000 records and we have the customer ID, gender, whether they're a senior citizen or not. And then we also know things about what they were purchasing within, um, within the products that this, that this media company uh, is, uh, is providing. Streaming TV, uh, do they stream movies, do they have internet security, online security, do they use a DSL versus a fiber optic, um, how do they pay, do they, um, do they pay every month automatic billing, or do they um, go out and write a check and send it in the mail. All these things we know, including how much their monthly charges are um, that they pay. So we have a good deal of information about these people, and we have about 7,000 records, which is a good amount for us to build a, um, a model. So our modeling strategy, as we talked about, um, when we're just dealing with an output, a binary output, a yes or no, uh, a classification is a really good model. You're just basically trying to create a prob probability of a yes or no. So most probabilities, 50% or above, we're going to say yes and less than 50% we're gonna say no. And then we can say that we're just gonna specify if it's a yes, then they're not going, they are going to churn. If it's a no, they are gonna stay with us and they're not going to churn. So there are many types of uh, classification models that help with, um, with this type of binary output. For the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna focus on the two most common ones, which are the logistic regression and the decision forest, or also known as a random forest um, model. So let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on importing our data and exploring the fields in Azure, doing some um, preliminary exploratory data analysis. So logging into Azure is just logging, like logging into any other application. Uh, the website is studio.azureml.net and you sign in with your Microsoft credentials and go ahead and get started you're gonna see a pretty uh, if you're using if you use Azure before you're gonna see a similar framework if you're using Microsoft products before it's got a very much of that office 365 look and feel and what you have on the left are some of the uh, the menus that you have access to what we're gonna go is we're gonna go into our data set and we're going to click on the bottom left where it says new and we're going to import a data set from a local file and I have these 7,000 records in a CSV file that we're gonna upload. Once we bring it in, we can give it a name and a description, and then it can be accessible to us to do any type of analysis that we are interested in. So I'm just gonna give it here a pretty uh, uh, standard definition. And then at the bottom left-hand corner, you have a bunch of bars there, which is letting you know that it's uploading the data set. And it'll probably take a few seconds, and when it's done, you'll get a nice check mark and you have your file there ready. So what we do then is we're going to go ahead and click on the new button again. This time we wanna click on experiment. And here's where I was telling you about the, um, the templates that are available to you. If you wanna go in and see something that's already been pre-built and done from scratch. But for our purposes today, we're gonna to click a blank experiment because we wanna build one from scratch and we wanna show you how easy it is to build um, a model from scratch using the data that's available. So as you can see here, it even tells you drag items here. So we're gonna go to my data sets and we're gonna find the model I just brought in and we're going to drag it in there. And we've started our model creation already. And the nice thing here is you can right click on it and go to visualize and you can start doing some, uh, some visualization of the data right away. So what it's telling you now is that we have 7,043 rows, 21 columns. And what we wanna see is how are these uh, fields and these columns, how are they distributed? 
So we can look and see all the columns on the right. We, we, uh, we click on them on the left and on the right, it gives us our statistics and our visualization so we can see how many male versus female. We see if there's any missing values. If they are numeric fields, we can get the mean, median, mode, min, and max, as well as standard deviation and get sort of a description, a distribution of the data. Uh, this also gives us an ability to look at whether there are missing data or if there's anything we need to change in our model, which we'll get to in the second demo. But, you know, just very easy, high level, what you call data profiling or as a, or in the data science community, it's called exploratory data analysis. Uh, very easily done, nothing that you have to program on your end, it's all being done for you. And it's pretty straightforward in terms of the, uh, the functions that are available. Last two columns are, well, last three columns are the monthly charges, which are numeric, so you can get a feel for the mean, median, and the max. Um, overall, so it looks like people spend as little as $18 a month to over $100 a month on monthly charges. And then the last one is the churn, which is gonna be our target in terms of identifying, did these people leave us? Yes or no? That'll come in handy later. 